per minute. Okay. It's already live. Ah. Wait, I refreshed. It is live. <coughs> oh yeah, it's already live. Hi guys. No, it's not. Yeah, it's already live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. Once you come, Hi, everyone. Come uh, yeah, so whoever you have been and who, who is now in already uh, or tuning can, in, just tuning in now. Yeah, I don't think you can leave your comments and likes now. At least you know there's some viewers. Um, we, we wait for some people to meet. Um, okay. Ah, okay. Let me check. Okay. Just wait first, la. Yeah, we're gonna have two minutes. Two minutes, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Where is everybody? Oh. Got two viewers. Who's here? Hello. Okay, got some music going. That's good. Who is the viewer? I don't know. Okay. Oh, got two viewers. Who's here? Hello. Oh, Delta Hi. Liam. Hi. 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 Hi, Delta. So guys, there's uh, approximately 15 or 17 second lag. Okay, we give it. Uh, we give some time for people to come in first. <coughs> I'm actually quite nervous. <laughs> this is like my Can't first go. webinar. And um, if you guys don't know, we're using B Live and we're using Facebook Live. And um, if anyone's used it before, there's some lagness into it, so it, it kind of like adds to the um, nerves, I think. So then, uh, we give it like until eight, uh, 15, 8 10 for people to come in. Yeah, we could do that. I'm so sorry for the early comers. Because this is our first time. <clears throat> okay, so you know how it is, you know, when you don't know something, you try it and then you learn from it. Good advice. Mm -hmm. so if you go through um, personal talking with your own first Maybe I put um I put the Facebook status. Um, Hi guys. Hi guys, I'm going live now, like seriously now. I put the The rest. So 
new ones. Okay, hi everyone. Say hello at least. Um, we're gonna wait for some time until about 8, 10 and then we're gonna start and proceed because I'm still waiting for the people to come in. Maggie, all right, yeah. And I'm freaking nervous because it's like my first time. <coughs> Say hi on the comment at least. <laughs> okay, so I've shared on my personal page, personal profile. Hopefully some friends see me and like, you know. Rock up, join in, tune in. By eight ten, if you are not in, we're just gonna start. Whether you see it or not. <laughs> uh, wait, what was it? By eight ten, whether there's like viewers or not, I'm, are we just gonna like start and dive in? Yes. Yes, we are. Hold on, ah. Let's give it some time. Hello, hi everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Please like comment and say hello. <laughs> At least we know you you are here to like watch it. Or if you have any questions about chatbot or how you will help your business, you can just type it in now as well. We will try to think about it while we are giving the presentation. Hello, Ayin. Okay, so for those who just came in, um, we will wait until eight ten. And if eight ten, um, people are still trying to get in. Um, uh, then after that, we just gonna proceed lah. Because after eight ten, I'm not gonna wait for people to come in. So whether people are coming in or not, after eight ten, we just gonna dive in. I'm so sorry for the early comments. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we hear the music. My match day affairs. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. We will start at 8 10 pm and wait for the rest to come in.
Two more minutes, and then we're just gonna like dive in. I'm so sorry if you lose the attention span with it. Okay, I'm just going to start now. Hi everybody, uh, whether you are in or not. My name is Mimi. I'm the the group creator for Love Mimi uh, personal branding page. Uh, personal branding group. So, um, I created videos actually. Started off with Facebook ads and stuff like that. And people start me asking already. So, but today I'm going to talk about chatbots. And why it helped, it has helped me in a way uh, for my own clients and the business that I'm helping with to manage their social media. Okay. So basically, um, I have one FMB business to use chatbots and also the home business that uh, I deal with. The reason why chatbot is so um, good and it sold me because, you know, when you do an Instagram, the typical FAQ questions that people are going to ask, like how much is the price? Uh, what is what is it? Uh, what are the varieties of menus that you are selling? Especially if you are selling bakeries, cookies, you know, uh, tarts. People keep asking the the same question, or maybe they ask, um, how much is the delivery? Um, that kind of questions. So it's it's typically um time consuming to actually answer one by one on the DM itself. So I. Actually, I know about chatbots before that. So I integrated into the Facebook page for all these bus uh, home business owners and um, the clients that I'm, I've been helping with to actually put the chatbot inside uh, on their Facebook pages so that they don't need to have like, you know, to reply one by one on these DMs because it's very time consuming when you already have like more than 20 orders and 10 orders and you have to reply to their press inquiries, you have to reply to their um, opening hours and you know that kind of question. So um, with this chatbot, it's really integrated, okay? So you you can actually control what are the things, uh, the questions, the uh, frequently asked questions that your customer will be asking. So it, enlighten you, it, uh, it save your time, instead of answering, you will be more productive by closing the sales. Okay, that's my takeaway from why I started using this chatbot. So, um, Haida is uh, a guy that I met um, through Instagram, uh, we actually connected through Instagram, and he has applied through his services business. So, it's not only for home business, it's not only for e-commerce, uh, it can be used for even if you're a self-employed or a advisory, asset advisor or self, uh, insurance advisor, whatever. Okay, because you won't be 24-7 trying to answer the inquiries that people are going to ask you on Facebook Messenger. So you need somebody else. Why Why not use that time and let a, um, a robot to elevate, you know, to close that gap. So, uh, Haida will be talking more about how it has impacted and sold by this interest of chatbots. Okay, Haida, take away. I think I talk too much. 
<laughs> uh, thanks, Mimi. Thanks for having me here. Um, yes, you pretty much did half the presentation. Thank you. So I have to talk too much now. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, can you help me with the get the PowerPoint up so that could uh, assist? Okay, okay. Okay. So yeah. So how we're doing this is um, Mimi has uh, the PowerPoint that we're gonna show some visual and I'll be walk, uh, talking through there. Bye. Uh, you just introduce yourself first. Okay, my name is Haida, as Mimi has introduced. Uh, I have created, um, built out chatbots for a f several service based business. And I'm you know, quite passionate, quite excited about it, about what the functionality is and how it helps uh, businesses. Uh, I've built for a renovation business, a tour tourism business, and even um a balloon maker business like someone who who does balloon making for children's parties or even um adults uh, office party or they, that's their business and i should do a chatbot for them and it really assists them and they um, enjoy or they really appreciate that because it's um, this chatbot really helps them in their business you know so that's what i've been doing i'm passionate and what we're doing here is just introduction to the chatbot and why me, people like me, Mimi, and a few other people are excited about it. And hopefully you get to know about the chatbot and you get to apply it in your business and it will help you grow your business as well. Or your brand, or um, if you're even a consultant, it will help you as well. Okay, take it away. So you want me to start um, helping with the- Okay, so I'll just say next one. You have to go for the next slide. Okay. Okay, so we are going to cover the who, the what, which, why of chatbots. And after that, it'll be the use of chatbot. Okay, next please. Ooh, I like that. Who is the chatbot for? Um, so if you're a brand, if you're a personal brand, for example, you're a consultant, you are a real estate agent, for example, I'm a renovation consultant as well. Um, if you know, and businesses like what Mimi shared, home-based business, if you have a cupcake business and even e-commerce stores, we, you can use chatbot. Basically, anyone that has the need to interact with your target audience or your market and you have repetitive questions, you have repetitive queries and you need to answer them uh, pretty much instantly because we live in a world where people want answers instantly. That's when they're hot because, you know, People, um, we are bombarded with information, right? We are bombarded with information. So the one, the business or the brand or the e-com store who can answer queries straight, fast, efficient, it gives that, that uh, perception to the, to the customer, to the consumer that you are a reliable brand. So you will do, do things uh, fast. Yes, it really helps, especially if you're a consultant um, and other businesses. It really sets the tone. So that's why you would, uh, that's for those who would use the chatbot, okay? okay. Um, cool. Next, please. So basically, what is a chatbot? Or as you can see, fundamentally, uh, I pretty much covered this earlier, whereby chatbot is, you know, chat robot. Instead of chatting to a human, like what Mimi shared earlier, where you respond to queries, um, similar queries over and over again, you know, you, you, this chatbot will assist. It's like a virtual assistant for you to answer the first level queries and to move the people down the line, down the pipeline quicker. So that's essentially what a chatbot is. A chatbot, and um, you would have seen it if you go to websites, you know, prior to 2016, when Facebook actually opened up the API for chatbot builders, but prior to that, you would have seen it in websites where they have the little help desk at the bottom, you know, you chat with people or you chat with their FAQ. That is also a chatbot, uh, I think. And but yeah, so there's a chatbot. And next after the what is the which, I think. Ah, yes. So the question is which chatbot to use? Obviously, you have to see which platform. If you are on a website, 
they have different service providers for a chatbot. I can't remember the names, uh, but there's a, there's a few out there. In here, what we are trying to share with you, of course, is to our knowledge and what we use is through phase, um, chatbot services that are on the Facebook platform, okay? So on the Facebook Messenger platform, the, the common ones or the two big ones at the moment is ManyChat and ChatFuel. Both are good, you know, both have their pro and cons. Uh, it just depends on your usage, depends on um, if you're building it on your own, it depends on how comfortable you are building it, or it just or if you get someone to do it for you, then it depends on that person, which uh, service provider uh, they're more comfortable with. So for us, for me personally, I use ManyChat. Uh, to me, it's easy to use and is sufficient for uh, the things we want to do it with. Sorry, can I interrupt for a while? Okay, for those who are on the phone, right, if you're uh, currently now on live chat, can you guys make it into full screen? Because the screen is split into two. So what I can see from my phone is like the presentation is being cut. So if you watch on a full screen, you can you can see the whole presentation slide, okay? Right, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for giving that tip so that our audience our, will not be missing out. Were you seeing me or were you seeing the uh, PowerPoint before? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, we had a bit of uh, other technical issues, uh, but we'll be all right. We're, we're right back now. Users of a chatbot. Uh, for small service-based business, as, uh, but as Mimi said, it's not just service-based business, home-based business. You know, if you're a consultant, a freelancer, a brand, a business, e-commerce. So, but in the sense of a small service-based business, the common issues that we would deal with are when someone would inquire, someone would send you a message through the direct, uh, through the inbox. You know, if unless you have someone taking care of the inbox 24 seven, which, you know, obviously doesn't work. It can't, you just don't have someone taking care 24 um, seven. You know, sometimes you, you are busy uh, running the business, running the day-to-day -day task of the business. You cannot get to the orders, uh, to the inquiries quickly. And, you know, sometimes when you have a slot that you want to um, answer those queries, for example, in a day, you know, if you're saving entrepreneur, generally what you would do is, batch work so if you slot in one hour or half an hour at 9 a.m to check your inbox to uh, respond to inquiries um sometimes you know you get like for example 10 inquiries and out of the 10 inquiries five of them are repeated uh, queries it's, it's the same queries similar queries um what mimi mentioned earlier is uh, sometimes they ask what time the shop open or how much is your cupcakes or how much uh, is a uh, how much is um, tourism or your um, if if you do a, if you're a travel agent how much are your packages? Yeah, yeah the, basically the frequently asked questions now. Yeah, I was just trying to elaborate on that. <laughs> so <laughs> those frequently asked questions, but um, even then sometimes it's still the uh, you find the frequently asked questions and. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's a bit more than that, meaning what I'm trying to say is if they ask a question and we could respond um, immediately and asking them for more information. For example, uh, I'm doing one for a renovation company and generally one of the questions that they ask is, can you give us an estimate of the floor plan? They ask a question and we could respond uh, I'm getting a feedback. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you nervous? <laughs> okay, should I click next? No, just that I had a bit of technical issue. I had a bit of feedback and I got worried. I will answer for the feedback, the, the, the comment. You just continue your presentation. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's... Time response, response time. You know? So you have to check uh, your inbox in five minutes 
and dealing with window shoppers, sometimes it's just people who, the, the first level um, queries, uh, that's, that's why. And, and sometimes they ask you questions where you already paid people a lot of money to, do, to design your website, to uh, put in the information on the website and something like, why don't you just you know, refer to, your, to my website? That's what you say in your heart, but you, know, you don't really tell the, your lead or your, your potential client that, obviously. Um, so uh, yes, repetitive queries. Can I, can I add something to this? The, yes. the, about the website thing? Okay, um, so basically, right, for, okay, uh, I understand, like some phone business, you don't want to spend money on building a website, you know, building a funnel, because, okay, funnel is still important in business, but what I'm trying to say is that you want to close sales as many as possible in a shorter time, okay? You don't want to be like, you know, um, trying to put your money into a website builder and putting all the information on the operating hours, uh, the prices, the what so whatsoever like, in your business that you need to put. So by having a chatbot, it, it cuts off time and cut your your expenditure to, to actually spend on this this uh, investment rather than you spend on these robots that can answer and close the deal for you and you get your sales. So why not do that, right? Because people are impatient. They don't want to like, you know, go to another third link and then, you know, uh, click to another thing to give a contact number to just view the operating hours. So because people are now all on Facebook. So by, by you uh, putting the chatbot, the Facebook just, the, the uh, sorry, the chatbot just kills the time of asking the people uh, attention to go to another website, but instead straight away, we close on the spot. Okay? okay. Exactly, exactly. I could have said it much better myself. So that's the first level of uh, the chatbot. Okay? Uh, the next is, for example, if you guys are aware of or familiar with email marketing, Email marketing, uh, generally they do EDMs, electronic direct mail, which is, you know, getting a promotions, uh, for example, um, percentage off, or you could bundle a package with this package and make it cheaper, you know, or send out uh, a birthday month special kind of thing. And sometimes you send out industry news or tips and advices. So that's generally what happens uh, in EDMs. They send out and you could do that with this chatbot as well. Uh, only difference is because you remember back in um the early 2000s or in the 90s where email was still new everyone opened their email but these days not many people open their email so you know they moved the attention as what we mentioned they moved the attention now to facebook and messenger and hence you get more people opening their facebook messages and you could present all these idioms to them through that channel okay Okay. Next. Um, yeah. I'll go, go. Maybe go back. Go back for a bit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and in regards to this uh, EDM, right? So, what happens is in email marketing, you have you can segment your list. For example, um, if you own a pet store, not really a pet store, um, a pet food store. You now you have a dog food, you got cat food, you got uh, hamster food, you got turtle food, whatever. But you know, your club, your consumers, not all you know they want dog food or not all want cat food. So um, in the email marketing sense, you can segment your list. So you send on information about dog food to the to the dog lovers, cat food to the cat lovers, you know, and who those who love terrapins, you give the terrapin food. So that's what happened with the email marketing. And you can do that with the chatbot as well. Segment your list. Build your audience in the chatbot just as you would build an email list. You build an audience in the chatbot, segment them and sending them relevant information because you don't want to send a general, like a general um, information where it's not relevant to the, um, to the user. So, and we can do that by tagging and segmentation. Next, please. I love that. Segmentation is very important in business. Oh, yeah. yeah, damn important. And you know what is important? Improving your ad spend. Exactly. <laughs> now, yeah. Okay. 
okay, that's that's the thing. People have been uh, saying that, oh, I spend too much on my Facebook ads. You know, I can't get to the right audience. That's what chatbot is all about. It's to segment your audience. Who would likely mostly would buy your product? Who would be like still 50-50 trying to like discover who you are, what your product is? And then you can also segment to who is like, you know, um, just checking out your product, you know? Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah, right. Yeah. That's correct. That's absolutely correct. Now, I'm just going to put an, an example there. Eh? If you get a lead for one dollar, what generally happens? Um, that's how Mimi was mentioning. You go to the website, you know, you probably not, might try to get their email address or their phone number. And it's, a, it's an elongated process. We try to shorten it. Um, or the other option is if you use the lead, uh, lead form. Um, objective in Facebook ad, you do get the leads, but it's at a higher cost and a lower conversion rate. Okay? Yeah. And some more, right? Yes. Adding to that lead. Okay. Okay. For those people a bit advanced lah, who have been doing the lead, uh, lead gen on your Facebook ads, this is the problems that I have. Okay. I get leads. I get their contact number. Okay. But the problem is when I get back to them and I call them, message them, SMS them, to say, okay, sis, um, you're ready to order uh, because I received your inquiries on the, the Facebook ads. And then it's either they don't reply you or they they, they shut you off or at most they will say, uh, oh, okay, uh, I just put my uh, contact number because I'm, I'm interested only, but uh, I haven't decided yet, you know. So you need to qualify again even after getting their contact number, which is time consuming. Okay. We'll and it's expensive for the objective. Exactly. Yeah. You need to control the ad spending. Yes. Correct. Then the other option, like, you know, back to, to what we were saying, someone, those who've been using Facebook ad, uh, some of them, they would use the message objective. All right. And when they do this message objective, they will get someone from the ad to go through the inbox to the messenger, to the, uh, to the message. But the issue is, they are not there to respond straight away, okay? For example, if you run an ad, a message ad, meaning that after someone clicks the ad, it will go to, uh, for example, um, ABC business, and then in that inbox, they will be there, they say, hi, hello, or you know, trying to ask for an inquiry, and they do it at 1.30 a.m. after you watch Netflix, there'll be no one there to respond until the next day, whereby you know, a chatbot, you will respond um, to that query instantly. Yeah. Straight okay. away, man. I love straight that. Straight away. I actually tried it. You know, you know what? I actually tried it before. Um, there was two, two, two Facebook businesses in, in Singapore. Um, I messaged them and then uh, they came up with that, that default uh, list like, you know, what is your office hour or um, what's your office location at uh, or I mean, I'm interested. I click, I click the bit where it says, where, where's your location? And they're actually pretty good. I mean, in half an hour, they responded to me. But by then, I'll be, I would have forgotten why uh, why I messaged them in the first place. So it's yeah. all about attention. you got to strike, strike the iron where it's hot. Well, someone's in a zone, you ask a question, answer straight away, or, and try to get more information out of them. That's key. Exactly. exactly. Yep, correct. Okay. Um, and no, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> So that was on the top one. The example is that you get lead. Now, money is in remarketing, okay? Because you have to have touch points. You know, back in the day, it used to be seven touch points before someone would contact you or even be comfortable to chat with you and get a quotation and buy your, buy your stuff. Nowadays, where, where I mentioned earlier, it's like a lot more touch points. There's a lot more information coming, bombarding in your way. It requires a lot more... Um, touch point with the consumer before they even think about your business. Okay, so when I say money is in marketing, again, if you're used to uh, doing Facebook ads, uh, you would spend some money to get these leads. You may get their phone number, you may get their email address, or they, you get their Facebook pixel, right? So what happens is after they come into um, another level of your audience, then you will remarket to them and spend more money on Facebook to, to get your offerings to this group of people. Retargeting. Now, sorry? Uh, retargeting, yep. Correct. Oh, retargeting, yes. 
Mm. Whereby if you get someone from your initial Facebook ad, it goes through the messenger, through a chatbot, they become your bot subscriber. And what does that mean? Ba-boom, ba-boom, ching, ching, ching. <laughs> <laughs> it means you can contact them again at zero dollars. Zero. And if you keep building your audience size, I mean, you, you will have to pay for the software, obviously, uh, but you don't have to pay per lead. Um, so, you know, uh, we will, you will share, we will share you to you later in the mini chat uh, plan, the free plan. You can get up to how many subscribers before you have to pay for the software. It's a free software, guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because. My, okay, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I love the fact that yes, you say zero cost, right? Yes, in in business, marketing is like your heartbeat, you know. You know what? I, I mean, like from experience, okay? because I I deal with um uh, business owner who who uh who who are doing real estate, who are doing um real restaurants, you know. You know, sometimes they want to save money on marketing. So with chat bots, right? It really helps, like you know, to diminish. The, the 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 dollar like what you said lah just now it, it really helps because for facebook ads you really spend okay sometimes you have these questions like oh i already spent this much on my leads but my leads are not the quality type you know you want quality cast uh quality because you want to straight away qualify your customer you want to get the right customer to straight away close the sale so yes this is one way to help you okay Okay, moving on. Okay. So just to recap, oh no, wait, I think next is your slide, sorry, keep going. You want me to go next? Yes, next please. What a chatbot can or cannot do, obviously with any software or anything, they have their own limitations. You gotta get that, uh, you know, we've got to set the expectation right. Um, yeah, it can do miracles, but some miracles are a bit off limits. Yeah, correct. There's pros and cons, lah. Yes. So what can a chatbot do? Create a comprehensive, comprehensive conversational, conversational flow diagram uh, and create the visual assets. For example, um, also prior to this, there is um, SMS marketing as well. People send out broadcast SMS marketing, right? Where... Um, Facebook chatbot, you can have images, you can have videos, you can have GIFs, emojis, you know, you could have, you could make it humanized. You could humanize the conversation in the chatbot itself so that we, they know they're checking to a bot, but it's not too robotic. You know what I'm saying? Yes, correct. Yes. Uh, it's not too, too computerized, basically. You can uh you can put some personal personalization touch to how you are as a person to the robot. Yeah. Uh. Exactly. Oh shit! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. What you cannot do? Yes. What you what? can. Do. Yeah. Just how he already explained. Okay. So yeah. uh, I continue this like uh, just this like. <laughs> okay. Okay, you have to, like what he said, you have to have your expectation right. We all know that this chatbot is not a human. So certain things like your customer sometimes, they don't want to choose the option like uh, whatever option that you gave, right, from your chatbot and then they want to type their own words. So you cannot deal with this frustration and that negativity that they already type on the chatbots. Lah. So what you can do is that you just put a... Uh, a default setting where you just say uh, a human will be in touch within one working days or something like that and then after that you answer the inquiries as a human being so but at least you put a default message that you're gonna get back to the person because certain things human will be human you have emotions what you don't have emotions so you can't uh, avoid this lah okay so like for example i give an example okay this happened to uh, my my home business that uh, I helped with. So basically, uh, on the option of the chatbots, right? 
I put hi, um, the uh, the shop name, and then I'll welcome, uh, sorry, hi, the person's name, and then I'll welcome to blah, blah, blah. Uh, please select one of the options below. So this person, this makcik lah, I, I put it lah, makcik and auntie, um, may not want to choose the option because firstly, maybe language barrier, don't know, uh, couldn't understand English. Or um, secondly, maybe um, just uh, have other inquiries lah. So um, among the options I put was call us, uh, order list and prizes and follow us. But then uh, this makcik wants to say Assalamualaikum. Salam, you know, like those um, normal, typical Arabic uh, welcome to, uh, for, because the, the person thought it's really a human replying. So um, the robot cannot say wa alaikum wa salam back <laughs> because the audience we are targeting is a whole bunch. We don't just target Muslims audience. So the robot couldn't say wa alaikum wa salam back. So um, what we say is that, yes. You know what? Think, yeah, so what, what we reply is that, we, oops, sorry. Uh, we typically uh, will reply you within one day. If you need to ask something else, just press the talk to human button. So this is what uh, I did. La. This was the barrier that uh, I was having with the chatbots. Okay. Uh, this one, I think you just not explain with you. Eh? Already went through this. Yeah. Yeah, with this one. You want to explain? Uh, would you like to explain? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you share about the free plan and the pro plan? Okay, so yes, somebody asked just now, um, is this many chat? Yes, we are just for standardization purpose because there's so many portals out there. The best so far that I find easy to manage is manychat.com. So manychat have two plans, um, the free one and the pro plan. And the pro plan not so pro, ah. it's only $10 USD, so cheap, $10 USD per month and there's a robot for you to be, uh, for, to help you to answer all these inquiries instead of you, your finger typing, yes please, uh, apa dia, nak, nak, nak berapa kuih, or sorry for the Chinese, or how many, uh, how many tarts you want, uh, that kind of inquiries. So this robot with $10 a month, it can help to actually answer all these and then um, to up to 500 subscribers. It's actually a good cheap investment for a business in my opinion. And then uh, basically elaborate uh, for those who never do the research, uh, we, we simplify for you. So basically for, for free one, you only can go up to a certain extent. Uh. Yes, it's free, but be aware that to a certain extent, when you build your flow builder, it only can go to this much, okay, whereby uh, only to Facebook comment tools and all uh, four growth tool meaning um, the sequence when you ask a question only two okay and then you cannot elaborate the questions so that's why you need to go pro okay everything in business go pro don't 50 50 test water okay um, and then uh, for pro in my opinion is a good investment because ten dollar only they help you to broadcast unlimitedly Okay, they, eh, I like endorsing many chat, they should pay me. It's never a feeling. Yeah, and then, okay, they, they, they can give you unlimited text. I like this because unlimited text is like customization, you know, like, uh, hello, uh, Syed, or hello, somebody else. Uh, they, you can put this coding programming on the Facebook username. Awesome, right? It's like, seriously, uh, awesome. And then after that, they have the custom feel where you can actually do the personal, personalization tone for your robots. And then um, they also got the blah, blah, blah. You can read. Lah. You go to the manychat.com, then you can see the pricing plan. Then you can see what's the difference between a free plan and a pro. I would suggest if you have a lot of orders, just go pro. It's only $10 per month. Here's the other thing about being pro. Uh, okay. Um, the thing you got to understand or the thing that you got to think about is this is pretty much a virtual assistant role. Pretty much, you know, if you were to hire a receptionist or, a, you know, frontline admin uh, person, how much do you have to pay them? And they, you know, they only work eight hours a day or if on a full-time eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. But this software, this system is working 24-7, you know, 24, uh, and it doesn't take toilet breaks. And it has the same tone time and time again. Sometimes if you have uh, a human, being or doing the um, 
admin work, it depends on their mood. You know, if they're hungry, they might answer a, 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 a Lee or your audience in a certain manner, or if they need to go to the toilet, you know, they do take breaks and sometimes uh, it's not consistent. So with this software, this chatbot, you're able to give the same tone each and every time, instantly, 24 hours, seven days a week. Yes. Think about it. Think about it. Think about right. the money. Ten dollar only, only. How much can then can that ten dollar bankrupt your business? Cannot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, about it, right? Uh, uh, wait, I mean, I, oh, you want me to show the flow builder? Um. Yeah. Just put back and show the flow builder. Okay. Firstly, I just want to say, uh, just to uh, uh, sum up a few things. This is the introduction of what a chatbot is and how it will help a small uh, service-based business. Question is, has it got you thinking? You know, has it uh, got you thinking of how it can help your business? Um, if you have any issues or that you normally face with in responding to inquiries of your uh, consumers and or that you think the chatbot might help or you wish the chatbot can help, uh, let us know in the comments and we will try to respond to it uh, at this second. If not, we will have to do a bit of research and get back to you. Correct, correct. We cannot explain further, like explicitly how uh, on the flow builder on this just one webinar because to some people, it's uh, already an advanced stage. To some people, they are just getting no, getting to know what is chatbot. So yeah, like what our topic is, introduction to chatbots. It's to know more, uh, yes, then, then we will have another schedule, another class to explain the different different function. Um, just to show uh, how it looks like inside. Okay, this is my chatbot lah. I expose my client ah. sorry. <laughs> so, okay, I help um, this FMB business, which is a <laughs> business, uh, called the Asam Pedas. They bought, okay, they are one of my clients. Okay, so Asam Pedas, because Asam Pedas, right, they have a physical shop, okay, when they have a physical shop, typically, okay, typically the customer will ask questions like, your shop open ah? Uh, what time are open? Uh, operating hours? Uh, what's your operating hours? How much is your delivery? Uh, what do you have? Uh, all those questions lah, which I think macam waste time. It's it's a bit of, you know, it's, it's not a bit, it's a lot. Waste time, time consuming because... Firstly, on our Facebook page, we already put our operating hours, but still people ask. Uh, and then secondly, uh, prices. Like, you know, we can, like, if you were to attend one and one, 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 one customer per customer on the inbox session, how much is the price? It's gonna be like, uh, you know, like uh, someone want to close sales. So, so with this, this is just an uh, introduction now, uh, how the builder looks like. It's, it's just a simple one first. Um, the explicit, the more complex one is not on this slide. So basically, uh, we, we div I divided uh, into the welcome message, like uh, the typical question, operating hours, what's the menu, um, and then uh, booking for events. And then after that, we can link it to WhatsApp link straight away, and then the customer will message us. Then we close the deal. So that's good, you know, like uh, this, um, so this flow builder is like a drone to see the whole thing, how the, the, the chatbot looks like, uh, like a diagram. So you can simply understand how it looks like when you as a customer, when you ask questions, how the chatbot is going to respond. Okay. So just an introduction, uh, how it looks like actually on the paid account. I don't do for free, I do pro, okay. And every client I ask to go pro. Yeah, okay, so um, do you have any question, guys? Like, I know there's only three viewers now, but if you have any questions, you can ask I like, us. I would like to bring up uh, one of my clients. <laughs> or somebody I help you, chatbot. Uh, he's a guy who does uh, football tours. It's called Match Day Affair. Uh, bringing people from Singapore to uh, the UK to watch football matches, all those uh, football fanatics. Okay, so uh, I'm going to introduce you. His name is uh, Mirza. Hi, Mirza. Mirza. Oh, I met well, Mirza. We're going to share a bit of his flow. 
hopefully you don't really see much. It's a bit more... More complex. It's because his business yeah. is more complex than queries. Yep. So see, it, it goes from as simple as what uh, Mimi showed earlier with... Um, it, it all depends on your business model. Yeah. And obviously for the travel and tourism, there's a bit more uh, variations involved. So it's a bit more complex as I've showed here. And I'm going to introduce Mirza, who um, his experience with using chatbot. Whoa, take it away, Mirza. <laughs> Not Hadi Mirza, Mirza for Liverpool. Uh. Liverpool. <laughs> I don't know any how it is. Hello, guys. Okay. Um, chatbots. What can I say about chatbots? Uh, the chatbots have many benefits. Yeah. Um, I got to thank this guy, Haider, to, for uh, introducing me to chatbots. And I must say that uh, it does help me uh, a lot in streamlining the uh, leads. So if one day I get 20 leads, so I will end up uh, uh, replying to those uh, leads uh, and ending up uh, typing nonsense or uh, I'm tired of typing. Lah. So uh, when, when, when it comes to chatbot, uh, I do not need to, uh, what do you call that? Uh, keep, responding. keep responding to the non-quality leads. Uh, it's streamlined and I just need to pay attention to uh, those leads where uh, will turn in, into prospects or those prospects, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, it, it is uh, the, be the beauty of a uh, chatbot, uh, yeah. And uh, I think uh, you have mentioned about it. Uh, the other beauty is uh, retargeting at zero cost. That is uh, building the subscribers list, and uh, I I am very very happy that I got to know this. Uh, yeah, it was it is like a big version of your your shoulder. Like one thing that's to worry about, I just to worry about those who are, who are really interested. Yes, uh, because uh, they just asked about uh, how much is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so like uh, then if they really, really want to uh, go or uh, I will like, uh, I, I will give all the information steps by step by step. Lah. And uh, I will, uh, the last step is a message prompt to my WhatsApp. So uh, I will receive a notification uh, on the uh on my email uh, that okay uh this guy is really interested yeah and i can uh retarget him uh on a separate day so uh he will not forget uh yeah so that's good so you already filtered people out who yes. are not interested people who are who inquire more inquire mm -hmm. more and uh, they after asking you basically what happens with his uh, chatbot is, you know, you, you give the packages, then you, then you, we would ask, are you interested? Yeah. So it's not just, they don't, they don't just ask for the package uh, inclusion, what's included the package. Then the next question that uh, comes after is, are you interested? Then once they click, are you interested? That's when uh, Mirza will get a notification yeah. that this guy is interested. Uh, and that's when you contact, connect with them because it's a higher level, a higher value. Yeah, exactly. I agree that because it happens to me. People ask, uh, you know, so much, like, they just want to survey uh, how much is my parts, you know, because they want to estimate how much is their type they're going to sell. So, much like, typical, so they're going to ask the price, and but then they will never order. <laughs> they just want to know the price. So, you just mm -hmm. want to filter away from the people who want to know the price and really who wants to buy, which is a good thing. Okay, thank you so much for sharing your experience with uh, chatbots. Yay, thank you, Mirza. Thank you, thank you so much. 
travel, football, soccer, you can go under his travel agency. Match day affairs. He's the guy. He's a guy. If you're a soccer fan, Europe, Europe football. Um, Mimi, have you got any questions from the floor? Because we have a one question earlier, right? Yeah, uh, the question from Katsuri. The uh, Katsuri asked, how to customize your chatbot question, right? If I'm not wrong, the question sounds like uh, that. No, her, her, question, her query was, um, how do you close a deal for customized work, customized product? Okay, you want to take it away? Yeah, okay. So after the, uh, w when we saw that, the first question I asked, is it like a mix and match, like Subway uh, kind of uh, Customize or is it a full customize from scratch? Because if it's a mix and match, that obviously there's two ways to do it, but it's very similar. If it is a mix and match like a subway, uh, then obviously you can have a radio option. Okay, so you want to build. Uh, we're, I'm literally going to use subway as an example. You know, <laughs> the, the the process they go through is what bread do you want? Do you want oatmeal or do you want Italian herbs or do you want um, the flat bread? So that's the option. Now we know that's the ingredient, the recipe that they want. So what um, filling do you want? Do you want meat? Do you want chicken? Do you want teriyaki? So, um, and so on and so forth till they get to the point of um, the, the cashier sale. So that's how you do a mix and match. Uh, by the end of it, by after asking those questions, you will get a, a custom customized product, you know? So that's yeah. the mix and match uh, route. The other route is the full customization from scratch. My thought process on this is if someone comes to you to ask for a customized cake, what are the first questions you will ask? You will ask, what is the cake for? Is it for a wedding or is it for um, uh, a birthday event? Is it for a, a kid? Bachelor party. Sorry? Bachelor party. A bachelor party, bachelor party, whatever the event is, why do you know, why do you want this cake? And then, mm. uh, then the next question is, what theme, what kind of cake? Do you want, uh, what size? Do you want a seven inch or do you want a nine inch? How many tiers do you want? So you go through that process, process of asking all these questions, what is their preference? But you got to understand, you can't close. Listen, you won't be able to close the deal straight from chatbot, simply because um, you will need, you still need to have that human touch. If it's a customized product, that person would want to have a one-to-one -one interaction, one-to-one uh, -one interaction with the business and before they agree uh, to doing the, the work. So I just go into that process. You, you get as much information as you can, then you say, okay, cool, thanks for, your, for, thanks for giving us all this information. I will create something, I will do a proposal, and I'll send it to you once we, when, uh, it's all done. So then it's kind of manual work from then on. Mm -hmm. But you've already reduced all those um, tedious and repetitive work at the, at the front end. It's only at the back end that you got to focus on. So that is my um, opinion or my um, suggestion on how you would use a chatbot to, to do a customized order. Yeah, true. It's just, a, it, uh, to me, it's a, just like an analogy where you go to McDonald's, you have that self-service counter thing, you order a double cheeseburger value meal, but mm -hmm. you're the person who wants a special order with no pickles, la, whatever, la, no pickles or ketchup, you know, I'm that kind of person. So I can't be doing it on the, the counter, self-service counter itself because there's no option for special order. Okay, mm. but... You have to go to the counter back and then say the special order. This is what I already put on the self, uh, self service counter, but this is a special thing that I need to do for my special order for my double cheeseburger. Yeah, so it's the same concept to this customization when it comes to chat box. It's just the prime process to cut off, like, to cut off time to to just straight away go exactly. go to the result. Yeah, I, I think that's the best analogy I could think of. <laughs> Yeah. Are you making me hungry? <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, I thought we can finish it within half an hour, but actually, we already blew it to one hour. <laughs> Just nice. My husband is coming home. Okay. So, uh, anything? Any questions? Were there more questions you want to ask? You ask now. If not, you can actually yes. 
um, use my chatbot and PM. <laughs> uh, no more, no longer have that PM syndrome. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I we really appreciate those that uh, jump on the show or the tutorial, uh, the introduction tonight, and hopefully we like in it sincerely. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mimi does the same, uh, feels the same way. We really hope that whatever we share is of some benefit to you, and um, give us any feedback, any questions, and we will do our best to answer them and really help your business grow. Yeah, use it for uh, to your own advantage. Like I always say, when I always share my tips and tricks. Use it for your own advantage. Apply it to your own business because all these integrations, as um, unfamiliar it can be, there's always people who are really in advance who knows how to how this process works. So you just need to leverage on those people and then use it for your own business. Okay. So bye bye guys. Thank you for now for this live chat. Thank you Haida for helping me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Okay, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>